अखंडमंडलाकारम व्याप्तम ये न चराचरम तत्पदम दर्शितम ये न परमानंदम सदगुरु By the grace of the universal master सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा we are taking the 15th stanza of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 1. Pancha Janyam Hrashi Kesho Devadattam Dhanan Jaya Pondram Dadmo Mahashankham Bhima Karma Brakodara पांच जन्यम ऋषि केशा देवदत्तम धनंजया पौंड्रम दधमो महाशंखम भीम कर्मा ब्रको धरा ऋषि केशा इट मींस द सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा श्री कृष्ण लिविंग इन द हार्ट ऑफ एवरी लिविंग बीइंग्स and beside uh, he is living in every particle of the world. Panchajanyam, it is the Panchajanya name of the shell, musical shell of Krishna. Dhananjaya, it means uh, Arjuna. Devadattam, it is the name of the Arjunsa. Shell, musical shell. Bhima karma, it means uh, the very great and biggest enthusiasm. Brakodara, Brakodara, it means uh, the Bhima, because the abdomen of Bhima is very big, was very big. He eat a more uh, quant, quant, quantity of the food comparison to other person. Pondram, Pondram, it means the name of uh, Shankha. Maha Shankham, it is a big shell. Dadho, it means the blow. So, the Senja has the first meaning, that is the worldly meaning. The Krishna has blow the Panjanya and the Bhima blow the Pondram. And the Bhima was a big stomach person, my dear friend. That is uh, the worldly meaning of this stanza. But the Gita's every stanza, every verse is very, very deep meaningful. It is not easy. It is not an easy task to understand. As you know the coconut, you can not eat the coconut by your own teeth. Cannot and never. Your teeth will be broke but coconut you cannot eat. Some person eat the akhrot by own teeth but not all. Some person. So, the stanza of the Gita is unbreakable secret by every person. It can only describe and open the secret by the enlightened master Sadgurus. 
my dear friend. The very, very valuable word here that uh, Rishikesh. Rishikesh, in India there is a place that is called Rishikesh. And Rishikesh is a real word by the Rishikesh, but the person pronounce the wrong name and that they made the Rishikesha. Rishikesha it means the hair of the Rishis. But Rishikesha is the God existence. Why this word is Rishikesha? Rishikesha means in the heart something is precious. That is the governing consciousness of the life and that governing consciousness of the light because the main cause of this governing consciousness of the life that existence is presence existence not only presence in your heart but existence presence in your every particle, every cell. Those person who is the student of biology, they knows every cell has a nucleus, and the nucleus is the brain of the cell, and the protoplasm is alive, chemical. Protoplasm is not not dead chemical. That is alive chemical. So this um, aliveness, not only in your heart, but this aliveness is even in a cell, amoeba, chlamydomonas, and then the colonial animal, bolvex, and the cup-sized algas, and then the eulotics and then the alga and then the fungi and fungi alga both are combination that is uh, common cellism and then firm and then angiosperm gymnosperm this is the bifurcations First the gymnosperm, then the angiosperms. This is the bifurcation and classification of the botany. And that shows the trees, they are divided in the two parts, monocot and dicots. And from the monocot and dicot to the primitive stage of the alga and the fungi, the same consciousness presence and that same consciousness presents from the amoeba to human my dear friend the biology proof the anatomy and physiology proof that consciousness presents even in a cell or even in an atom of a protoplasm The spermatogenesis and oogenesis proofs even a sperm is a unique structure of the life but it has the movability and separate identity. My dear friend, if you open your eyes then you can see your signs Metallic science and non-metallic science, your life science, your social science, your every theoretical knowledge can be connected with the spiritual knowledge, spiritual truth. So the Hrishikesa, 
द ग्रेट इनलाइटन पर्सन से यू कैन सी द गॉड इन साइड ऑफ योर हार्ट बट गॉड इज नॉट लिमिटेड अप टू द हार्ट गॉड इज प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर इन एवरी पार्टिकल यू कैन नॉट सी योर फेस ऑन द बॉल यू कैन सी ओनली योर फेस इन द मिरर सो वी कैन से दैट हार्ट इज द मिरर एंड अदर बॉडी इज द लाइक द बॉल my dear friend the rishikesha the rishikesha sorry i am also say rishikesha the rishikesha is the most valuable word of the spirituality and atma gyana and now the panch janyam panch in hindi is called five janyam it means the producer it is proof that five elements produced all the nature and all the living beings the five element in the modern science there is more than 230 elements in the periodic table of the chemistry but in our ancient scientist of the metallic science or non metallic science it means the science of the matter they only divided in the five parts the elements and that elements means the tatva but tatva it means the bunch of elements silicon carbon so and so these are contained in the earth iron magnesium all the metals and the non metals they are called the earth earth elements second is the element the fire element all the gases even they are active gases or inactive gases unsaturated gases like oxygen like uh, carbon di monoxide carbon dioxide they are the part of the atmosphere but some gases they are in between of the active and inactive gas and you can say the nitrogen oxygen is active gas but nitrogen is inactive in the comparison of the oxygen my dear friends so argon neon he, helium neon argon krypton xenon these are inactive gases so my dear this all the bunch of the gases is called the air by our ancient and brilliant scientist your scientist is the dust of the feet of my my indian scientist they are the greatest scientists you are a child in front of them they can disappear their body they can change the body particle in this invisible they can go anywhere by the speed of the mind our rishis munis they goes to many many galaxies you can read the yoga vasishta okay you don't believe i know but i believe second thing is that the third element is water the water is separate element because the water is the best solvent many many things to solve in uh, dissolve in the water so we say the water is the base of the life because if the water is not present your cell liquid your protoplasm cannot alive no powder can be alive only the liquid is very essential so water is the universal solvent so it is a putting in the separate tatva water and your science says the evolution start from the water and our science says the first avatara of vishnu 
by the Matsya Avatar. Your science also says, when we see the coded animals development in the evolution, the science say the first animal come from the water. So first avatar came from the water. That is Matsya Avatar. Second thing is that, uh, third element, and fourth element is the fire. Fire is an element. That person who read the physical chemistry, they read a chapter in the physical chemistry, the spectrum of every element, nickel spectrum is green. Copper spectrum is another. So the spectrum of every element different. So be analysis. By other planets, radiations come to the earth and our scientists classify the light's color and they declare that, that planet has so and so elements. So light is our fourth element because the light is very very micro part of the all elements even the earth metals non metals even the water even the solvent solves material in the water and even the air my dear friend as the science says, the matter converted into the energy and the energy converted into the matter. Because when the pralaya comes, all matter convert into the, in the Mahapralaya, it is converted into the water and then water convert into the light and light, fire, sorry. Water convert into the fire and fire dissolve as you alight a lamp and the light goes where goes the flame of that lamp so the fire dissolved in the sky so the pancha janya it is showing here that the five ones of element they make a, a structural possibility of the life can be stay in, in this structural possibility and that is called the physical body. So the blowing of the Panchajanya it is showing here that God existence which is living in your heart and it is blowing your physical and micro body Shankha cell. Your body is itself a cell. And the Satchidananda Paramatma, Shri Krishna, is a Rishi is your soul, your Atma, your existence, your Paramatma, your life, your consciousness, your awareness, your everything, the center of your everything. And that is presence inside of you and your body is the pancha janya. This is the secret meaning of this stanza. In these two words. You agree or not agree, but it is right. Whole energy is coming. By that center that is existence. Whole life is coming. All life is coming by that center that is existence. And all consciousness is coming by the center of your existence, which is your inner Atma. And if you know that Atma, then you will be become free from all illusion of the Maya. So the Jnani Purush, so the Saints, so the Enlightened Masters, so the Atma Jnani, so the Brahma Vettas, only and only say to you, be the aware in your existence, be aware in your soul. They do not tell that you read the book, they do not tell you chant the mantra, they do not tell 
you do the pilgrimage, they do not tell you do the yagna, they do not tell you do the pranayama, they do not tell you take the samadhi. No. They only tell, awake in your supreme consciousness, and that is called the atma. And all the inferior things, the lower, lower down steps, they are all illusions, but it is better than die in the hunger or without food. You can take food from anyone. So it is better than if you are not knowing the Atma Jnana, you can make you pure by other activities. But the first class seeker, they must be involve their life energy to knowing themselves in a center, Atma, Atma Jnana. So the first step of this stanza, the first four, fourth part of this stanza, I have given you the message of God in two words, Harshikesha Panchajanya. Your physical body, your mental body, your casual body, that is the Panchajanya and your internal soul, that is the Krishna, Satchidananda, Paramatma, you have put any name. God and you have any name you can put. The name is no meaning, but knowing is the meaning. My dear friend, we say the Jal, Arab person say the Ab, English person says water, Sanskrit say the Toya, and chem chemical scientist says S2O, but all is the same thing. So the God is the same in all over the universes and the galaxies. And that is only one Satchidananda Paramatma, the biggest name of the God, Satchidananda Paramatma. I am very, very grateful to my inner God and my Sadhguru. Now the second part of this istanja is telling Devadatta Dhananjaya. Dhananjaya, it means the Arjun in the bodily meaning. And Devadatta, it means the, maybe the name of the Shankha, name of the Shana. But no. The Devadatta Dhananjaya if a person say the Arjun blow the Devadatta named shell, that is the only the meaning of worldly meaning and that is only the sufficient for the donkeys, which is living in the Maya. But it is it has the great meaning. Devadatta, it means the Rishikesha, which is living your Panchajanya, which is living your body. The living God inside of you, you should be aware to know that. That is called a Devadatta. And you are not knowing that. So your Hrishikesha is your enlightened master, your Sadhguru. And you should be, become the voice of the master, HMB, his master's voice. You see in the Bombay. And there is a building that is called HMB building in the old time. There is a name plate, HMB, his master's voice. And there is a symbol of a dog. I respect. I feel that becoming a dog of a master is the greater than the becoming the emperor of this world. If any person say to me, I want to make you the president of the United Nations organization like a moon, Mr. Moon. I will say no. The becoming a president of a United Nations organization is, is, is not better, but becoming a dog of a master is a better because the master 
can be give you the atma jnana and can liberate you can awake you in your soul but the president of united nations organization cannot give you any awakeness so when i was the my i was not enlightened i was lick i was licking the feet of my master by my tongue like a dog i have no shame i have no shame because my master is my master and i am the servant of my master and now it is i am also the servant of the master sachidananda parmatma so i am the hmb his master's voice i am telling my master's voice that is a great devotional stage and that meaning is coming that meaning is coming by the word devadattam devadattam it means that particular disciple which is completely devoted in the feet of the master which is doing every work for the master which is eating for the master sleeping for the master talking for the master working for the master living for the master his whole life is sink in the master's directions directions and directives and the services and master's works helping that is called a devadatta I want to bow all the disciples. They are joining me because they are our Dev Datta. They are very respective person because they are helping the existence existence work. And Dhananjaya, Dhananjaya it means so. If a person make his body like a bo like a dhanush and he put the arrow of the enlightenment and give the his body his mind his intellect and ego in the hand of the master then the master pull that string of that bow and the arrow will hit the enlightenment goal that is called the dhananjaya you know a story of the life of arjuna when arjuna was studying in his guru's ashram and uh, the other persons they are jealous with the arjuna and they ask to the guru why you are giving so priority to arjuna and why you are not giving priority to us even that was not enlightenment thing that is a worldly thing that is the shooting practice of arrows so the guru take all the persons near a tree and uh, guru put a toy of a bird and the toy of a bird has a big eyes even you can uh, imagine 2 mm eyes what a uh, naturally has small eyes but uh, that toy has 2 mm eyes and 100 m far away they stand all students in the line and give a arrow and bow first they give the arrow to the duryodhana and they ask duryodhana are you ready to shoot arrow duryodhana say yes so the guru ask what are you seeing on the tree duryodhana say i am seeing all the tree i am seeing all the fruit of the tree i am seeing all the leaves of the tree together and i am seeing that word also so the guru say do not shoot shoot that arrow he give the uh, bow and arrow to the other person maybe the dushasana maybe the other maybe the other he give everyone and ask the same question the person tell i am seeing 
the tree or oh, some person say I am seeing the big branch which is the the uh, toy is putting so and so many many person tell like this so the guru say no you do not shoot In the last the Arjun's chance came even he asked to Dur uh, Yudhishthira they are all child at that time Yudhishthira say yes I am seeing the tree and the stem of the tree and the branch of the tree the same they all say when the guru the master asked to the Arjuna and asked what are you seeing my dear Arjuna Arjun say I am seeing nothing Arjun say I am seeing nothing I am seeing on the eyes of that word I am seeing on the eye of this that word only I so the guru say shoot the arrow Arjun shoot the arrow and exactly that arrow was hit the eye that is called Dhananjaya your all attention must be towards the enlightenment your all attention must be towards the awakeness complete awakeness your all attention must be towards the total freedom from the Maya if you have the attention in other things it means you are divided energy person and uh, you will be take a long time in enlightenment my dear friend so deep meaning Devadattam Dhananjaya Devadattam it means your all attention must be according to the teaching of the master your all attention must be according to the service of the master your all attention must be flow in the feet love with the master like a dog love his master as I love my master like a dog my dear friend I am not telling all of you dog but I am giving only the example of the dog dog is the highest example of the honesty and love with his master and second number is coming horse my dear friend sorry to say I have many many example of dogs and the horses they sacrifice their life for the master I want to remember the Chetak the great horse of Maharana Pratap He was fought with the Maharana Pratap. He helped the Maharana Pratap and he died to save his master but he never allowed to enemy to die, his, uh, kill the master. My dear friend, if I can bow in the feet of that horse, I, I will bow. Because the dog and the horses they are the most obedient and most loving animal of this world with the master and they are the great friends of the human. So the great examples can be followed in the life. I want to say my disciples, you are not dog, you are not horse, you are a human but many many qualities of the animals and they are we can adopt uh, in our life. So that is uh, if a person is completely surrendered in the feet of the master and in the service of the master, in the sake of the master, uh, that is converted in, into the service of existence. And then you will win, you can win this battle of internal Mahabharata. And you can, you can be enlightened person when it's, we are talking about enlightenment the, in the western country they have no appropriate vision of enlightenment but in India and Bharat we have a appropriate vision of enlightenment that is called knowing the internal God and transforming into the internal God that is enlightenment the Mil William Shakespeare Milton Milton 
Books worth kids, they are not enlightened. They are only the brilliant intellectuals in the literature. But the definition of the Western countries, they think that they are enlightened. So, my dear friend, Pondram Dandho Mahashankha. Pondram Dandho Mahashankham. If you will serve the master, then the Dadham, the Dambha, the Kama, the Krodha, the Loba, the Moha, the Dambha, all the deformities, all the negativities, all the illusionary forces, all the mesmerism of the Maya, that will be run away from you because as as the light is coming of the sun, the dark goes away. And Pondram, it, is, it has a very, very secret meaning, Pondram. Pondram, it means your all the life become signing of the God's wisdom, signing of the divinity, signing in the spirituality, signing of the greatest peace and the divine love. Now nothing is remaining. Nothing is remaining any anesthesia of Maya, any illusion of Maya, any type of deformity, any type of negativity, any type of dilemma, any type of misunderstanding, any type of dirt and dust in the mind, intellect and ego. You have become the transformate, transformate into the existence and transparent like clean water, clean glass. My dear friend, no ego, no pride, no anesthesia of Maya can be stand in front of this Mahashankha. What is the Mahashankha? The great cell, the great love with the Sadhguru, the great devotion with the Sadhguru, the great affection with the Sadhguru, the great union with the Sadhguru, the great unity with the Sadhguru. And we karma prakodaraha. Then the biggest task, the biggest condition of your life that will be solved in the seconds. The other person think, it is very hard task to knowing the Atma Jnana, but it is very easy for you. A person broke the stone by the punch I see in the internet. But you, for you that is hard task, but for that person is very easy. I see some person put the swords in the mouth. It is very difficult to you, but it is very easy for him. Because he has the Guru, which he teach this time. The Kung Fu. It is easy for the Kung Fu students, because the Kung Fu teacher of Japan, and the China and the other country where the Kung Fu is famous. The students can do the actions of the Kung Fu, but it is very miracle for you. The Samurai of the Japan, they are very sharp player of the sword and the sword of the Samurai that is very special type of the sword. 
nobody can make in other countries only the master of the samurai samurai they make the sword a very special sword many many times they temper the sword they beaten the sword they make the sword with the very very difficult manner and very sharp sword and the samurai of the japan japanese samurai they are so skillful to use that sword no general person can use that sword like that like the sumo wrestlers they are a specific wrestlers in the world so and nobody can believe that on that skill and nobody can believe that my skill when the sakshi meditation of awareness a person become in the next stage complete thoughtless and he live in the thoughtlessness he he take bath in the thoughtlessness he take he eat food in the thoughtlessness he even do any every work in the thoughtless when uh, i went in the um, science and arts college in the there was a dean and i talked that dean he i uh, we are talking about that meditation and he told me oh guru swami ji i don't believe that anyone will, will become thoughtless in any time i say yes it is possible oh no no i can't believe i say do meditation with me I say I have no time to do meditation, but my long life experiments experiences that nobody can become the thoughtless, but my disciples. Is the evidence they are staring in the thoughtlessness, and their thoughtlessness is the start of the real meditation. My dear friend, now you can understand. If person become the thoughtless, how can tension can enter in his brain? There is no thoughts, so how no tension. But he is not become a mad. He is not become a fool. He is the wisest person of the world because he is not wasting his energy in the meaningless stream of the thoughts. So, when you do this meditation. Then the your life task, every task become very easy. I give some example. If you are not doing meditation, you are a general person, and you goes to your office, and your boss shout on you, and use the hard words against you. You fight with the boss. The boss and the managing committee terminate you. You go in the courts, and the twenty twelve or twenty years you fought the case in the court, and ultimately your life is become like a hell. If you are not meditating, you are fighting with your wife with on the meaningless slogan, meaningless slogan, because you are unconscious. Your wife is unconscious. Your wife do not knows what to talk with you, and you do not know what to talk with your wife. So the family environment become like a hell. Two examples, three examples. You are driving a car, and somebody is overtaking you from the wrong side, and you shout with them, and he shout with you, and. may be possible a person is wrong person he can shoot you as we see in the uttar pradesh up my dear friends anything anything can be happen by your unconsciousness but you are doing the meditation and you are living in the thoughtless condition and you are a bell watcher of your mind intellect mood and ego then when anything is coming in your mind the same time it come and you can see the same time so the thought cannot make a chain of thoughts or thunder of thoughts or the storm of thoughts and he cannot move you 
your consciousness of awareness is stand continuously and he can and that cannot move you in any wrong activities my dear friend you are very well knower of others mind also your mind also and others mind also and you can behave the appropriate manner and appropriate method with the others so not only you avoid avoid your unpleasant condition or bad circumstances but you can avoid to giving any pain to the other person my dear friend that is the meaning of the bhima karma because the biggest task can be easy for you that cannot be done by other person but you can done very easily how applied meditation i am giving to this world bhima karma brakodara brakodara it means big stomach as the gita says apurmanam machalam pratishtham samudram apaye pravashanti yatat you are becoming a big heart many many persons love can stay in your heart very easily without any contradiction at the sadguru can put the millions disciples love in one heart brakodara it means if any pun say to any secret to you you can easily digest the secret and do not open the secret all the life to your disciples i want to say in my life there was a master came you know i have i have uh, changed eight masters in my life and my a master was has a big mistake i will not tell him master but he has big mistake anyone come to the master master talk to him with politeliessly goodness and he be, he please and where then he go and then as then he go the master start the back biting about that person every person he back bite then what happen every person after some time and uh, can know the master is telling so and so uh, after i go from uh, uh, i go away from the master and master was back biting me so the many many disciples they give up they leave that master a disciple open his heart in front of the master because disciple think uh, that the master will never open my secret to anyone but the master is using the secret to defend and deform it and uh, give the threat and give the infinity to the disciples and that is not a master that is not a good master so my dear friend your stomach will be become a stomach will be become it means all the secrets all the deformities all the other persons helplessness other persons uh, private things they can stay in your stomach they will not come out you will not do any wrong thing to others then they humiliate or they feel sad so that is a very good quality of a real seeker and good master brakodara it means the all the deformities of the maya all the pain of the maya all the conspiracy of the maya all the tricks of the maya all the obstructions of the maya all the hurdles hurdles of the maya all the negative negativity of the maya he can easily digest he can easily digest my dear friend that was the discourse of the 15 stanza and last of this stanza i want to tell you if you do the meditation as i will te- i want to teach you that is meditation is the first fruit first result is that you will become the tenseless 
and tension created diseases will not come in your life. You will become buried less. You will become pleasant. The peacefulness, the peace come in your life. The millions of dollar thing is peace. Nobody can purchase, purchase the peace. And this tensionlessness and this buriedlessness and this peacefulness will save your millions rupees in the expenditure of general hospital treatment, operations, diagnosis, straining and so and so. And you can save your body pain also. Your, your, you, you cannot face the unpleasant condition of the operation bypass heart bypass and other and if you do this meditation you are safe and secure and prevented from the mental uh, from the tension created diseases like the diabetes angina heart attack so and so second thing is that if you do this meditation honestly then you will be mentally aware person no phobia no mania no schizophrenia no anangenia, no depression, no suicidal attack, no madness. And there is a guarantee that you will not become a patient of any psychiatrist or any mental hospital. And you will not die by suicide. And you will not be feeling sad or depression. It is guarantee of this meditation. Third thing is that if you do this meditation honestly, four or five months, you can see easily your anger, your lust, your greed, then you can save yourself from the criminal activities and the economic crimes and the crime against women. So you will become the internal moral person. When the person will do this meditation in the big number, the societies will change. The families will become a like a blossom flowers and the society will become a Eden garden and the nations will become a big melodious sweet mutual understand understanding brotherhood and very good positive qualities containing nations and the all the nations of this world can become and live like a family and they always careful to an other convenience and there is no dispute if any dispute will be come they can solve the all dispute on the negotiation table my dear friend i am doing the work of united nations organization even i am not the president but i am doing that a good work then your United Nations organization will be successful if all the countries will become brotherhood, loving and effective, affectionate each other. That there is no need of the bar in this world. I can, I can save this world from world war and wars. And if there is no world war, there is no bar. So no need of huge establishment of armies we have we must have one only one army the peacemaking army in the world because the demons and the rascals they not hear the voice of the enlightened masters my dear friend so i impose mission on me and my friends and my disciples and my lovers and my listeners and my well wishers the mission is world peace by meditation and the instrument is meditation of awareness. My dear friend, join me because this meditation is a non-religious meditation. This meditation not prejudiced with any type of group, caste and creed or nationality. This is the global meditation for all. Please join me and please one thing I want to say. Subscribe my channel on YouTube. The name of channel is Swami Sachidan. Love you very much. Bless you very much. You are my soul. I am your soul. Thank you very much.